Today, I would like to share what Honchoshi is and what each number that comes before the word Honchoshi means, and even the way to pronounce them like Japanese native speakers. I'm sure you have seen the term Honchoshi. It usually shows up like 8 Honchoshi or 6 Honchoshi. So, what in the world are they talking about? There are different types of shinobues, and when a shinobue is tuned to the Western scales, which are the scales you hear on Western instruments, such as piano, the shinobue is called uta type or doremi cho. Cho means key. And this type of shinobue uses the term honchoshi to indicate the key it is tuned to. By the way, a few words about the term uta. Technically, these shinobu should not be called uta, but should be only called doremicho, since shinobu for traditional uta are not tuned to Western scales. Nonetheless, they are often called uta even in Japan, and I feel that this type of confusion comes from the fact the shinobu that are tuned to Western scales started to appear only within the last 50 years, which is such a short length of time in the ridiculously long history of Japan, trust me I know because I had to take Japanese history classes, which I slept through most of my school days because it's so long. So people are still a bit confused about this new type of shinobues with western scales. Anyway, when you see the term honchoshi, they are referring to the key the shinobu is tuned to. For example, one of the most common honchoshi you see is 8 honchoshi. 8 honchoshi shinobues are tuned to the C major western scale. Another common choshi is 7, which is tuned to B major scale. So for 6 honchoshi, what scale do you think it would be tuned to? That's right, B flat major. So as the number decreases, the sound gets lower, and the shinobue becomes larger. So that's how the term honchoshi is used to describe the specific key that shinobue is tuned to. The Princess Mononoke theme song is in the key of B flat. So I use 6 honchoshi. If I were to use 8 honchoshi, it would sound like this. Another important thing I want to add here is that when a Japanese native speaker says honchoshi, the pronunciation of the home part is slightly different depending on the number that comes before it. And to make the matter even more confusing, native speakers would never pronounce the choshi part choshi. In this context, they would always say joshi. I know it sounds super confusing, but English has something similar as well. For example, when you add ed at the end of a verb to make it past tense, sometimes it is pronounced with a d sound, such as joined, and sometimes with a t sound, such as jumped. So it's not just Japanese that's confusing. So let's go through all the pronunciations. One is ichi. In Japanese, so ippon joshi. Two is ni, so nihon joshi. Three is san, so sanbon joshi. Four is yon, so yon hon joshi. Five is go, so gohon joshi. Six is roku, so 
Seven is Nana. So, Nana Hon Joshi. Eight is Hachi. So, Hapon Joshi. You can still say Ichi Hon Joshi, and the native speakers will still understand you. But if they say each of them slightly differently, then don't be confused. They all mean Hon Joshi, even if they are pronounced a bit differently. So for your first shinobue, I think eight hon joshi, hapon joshi, might be a good one because it's smaller and might be easier to make a sound. I hope this video was helpful to you in understanding what hon joshi means. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more shinobue videos. Thank you so much. Bye. Mata ne.